The raised foundation, the hint of a bunker base design. Have you spent countless hours soft side picking through armored foundations? How many rockets have you used to break through these 2000 HP behemoths? And how many boxes of loot have been hidden behind this dirty building trick? How many no more? In this video, I will demonstrate how to break traditional stability bunkers for a very cheap raid cost, and I will also demonstrate an idea to make them OP again. First, the proof. I don't know who originally figured this out, but this technique was mentioned in my comments with a video linked to a Russian YouTuber by the name of Woodcock. I will link the video down below if you want to show him some love. Now you could do this with anything that uses Explo 556. I use the SAR here because it's the easiest to acquire. But after only one clip, if we come back inside and check the HP of the wooden half wall, well, it's went down a bit, hasn't it? So how do you do it? First, you want to aim along this line here. Now it's not just aim and shoot at this spot, that won't work. You want the impact area that heats up to be laying down flat and not standing upright. What I mean by this is, you're aiming for this to happen with every bullet, not this. With this concept in mind, it is slow and steady tap firing from then on out. My estimate for total raid cost is slightly more than going through only a single sheet metal door. And the better you are at controlling the SAR, the quicker you'll be able to raid through it. For full information's sake, the damage done by this technique affects all building grades the half wall can be built out of. I tested them all and each building grade you go up, the less damage they do take, but this is no different than raiding through any wall normally. So, are these stability bunkers really dead? Yeah. Yeah, they are. But don't worry, it is Christmas time and the only thing on my list was a stability bunker that actually works. I must have been good this year because what we have here is an early Christmas present, apparently with peak downs, from Santa. Inside is this beautiful concept. Now an experienced base builder will immediately recognize the simple and easy fix applied here to stop the splash damage shenanigans. But let's go into more detail. So normally, on our entrance we would simply add two raised foundations, upgrade them, and then seal it in the middle. But since this doesn't work anymore, let's start fresh. First thing we'll do is add one extra foundation at ground level. We'll put this one back and fill around the entire entrance with all raised foundations and upgrading as we go. To seal, we'll use a half wall, but we'll also extend the triangles out by one extra. Upgrade both of them to HQM and the entrance is almost done. To stop the splash damage, we have to add these two half walls and a floor tile. Upgrade it to whatever your bunker is made of, in this case, HQM. The new bunker entrance is this triangle right here. Now in case you were wondering, I spent many hours trying to get some cheeky splash damage spots like this area here and the same spot over on this side, all without success. Now since this half wall is immune to splash damage, it can be left twig. I personally will be upgrading it to wood, just cause why not. Once opened, our new entrance has this little space above us, and here is the outside. So, to seal this, you drop down, place a half wall here. If you choose to upgrade it, hard side must face this way. Add this triangle and armor it. Then we can jump out and attach a second triangle to the last one, and voila, a bunker is sealed. This will maintain the raid cost of a full armored wall to get through the entrance, just like old times. Now I do want to say this demonstration here is a solution, but it is not a finished base or even a finished concept for me. There will be a few kinks to work out with expanding this thing efficiently, and I look forward to using this in upcoming base designs. As I explore this concept further, any help that you can provide in the comments below will be greatly appreciated. Well thank you very much for watching this video, I hope this was helpful to you. Well, what are you still doing here? Go and raid your annoying neighbor's bunker base. I hear it's real easy now.